Hi Marianne and Burn Bright viewers, my name is Sonne and my YouTube channel is Books and Quills. I'm 23 years old, I live in the Netherlands and I recently graduated with an MA in English Translation and Literature. I've been making videos since 2008 and I mostly make videos about books. I do book reviews, I do book hauls, but I also do a lot of travel videos and some other vlogs in between. I like to read a lot of different stuff. I like reading young adult from time to time, but I also really enjoy classics and some contemporary fiction. I'm doing the 50 books challenge and I may or may not be failing a little bit. I made it last year for the very first time and the year before that I read about 22. These books are on my to read pile. That entire thing over there is my to read pile. I might have a bit of a book buying problem. Anyways, there are some questions that I'm going to answer for you guys and the first question is, if I were to write an autobiography, what would the title be? Well, actually, this week I've been listening to the audiobook of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and of course there's Gilderoy Lockhart with his ridiculous titles for all of his books. So I think I would quite like a very cheesy alliteration, such as Wandering with Werewolves. I think I'd be more interested in what the cover of the book looks like than the actual title. I think if I actually had to write an autobiography it might end up just being all these huge lists of stuff that I've been to or stuff that I've read. I love recommending stuff to people so I would probably make a list of all my favorite foods and my favorite restaurants and all the places I've been and the books that I want people to read. I think that that's probably more interesting than the whole list of anecdotes from my childhood. Question two, which authors inspire me the most? Sometimes you read a book and you quite like it and then you go watch an interview with the author. An author turns out to be super dull and just not interesting at all and it kind of ruins part of the book. I think the authors that inspire me most are the ones that apart from being good writers are actually really interesting people to listen to and are funny and open-minded. One example would be something you guys are probably expecting if you've seen any of my videos. John Green. I could listen to John Green talk for hours. I've been to so many of his talks and besides writing really good and interesting novels, I think I would prefer to have him giving talks over having any of his books. Also, Stephen Fry is one of these people who are so interesting, but I've never read any of his books, though I do own one of them. I based the decision of buying this book purely on him being such an interesting man and I figured he would be able to write really good books too. Question number three, what inspired me to start vlogging? I've been watching YouTube videos since 2006, but at the end of 2007 I discovered the vlog brothers, John and Hank Green, who made really interesting and funny and witty and nerdy videos. And then the five awesome girls started, a group of five girls who made really awesome vlogs and I think because of that group of people I got really interested in doing it. They were talking about things that I thought I could talk about this. These are things that I think are interesting. At the time I had just discovered Twilight and I was really really into it and I auditioned for a Twilight collaboration channel. Actually one of the first I believe and that was my very first video. My audition video and it's really embarrassing. I made videos for the channel for quite a while but I think after a couple of weeks I decided I also wanted to start my own channel and at first I did some vlogs and then soon after that I kind of started talking about books because they're kind of a big part of my life but it wasn't until I started doing the 50 book challenge that I actually started reviewing books too. Another person who really inspired me by the way is Miss X Rojas because she is one of the first people I ever watched on YouTube who discussed books so if you don't know her yet make sure to check her out. Then finally question four, give four random facts about yourself. Number one, I only write with black pens because for some reason my handwriting doesn't look as good in blue and I just really enjoy black pens and fountain pens. Number two, I have some Something called synesthesia which you guys might have heard about. Basically it's this thing where people connect words and sounds or other things to color. I have a kind of specific branch of it where you see time in connection to the space around you. The only way to kind of explain this is that for me the 1920s are over here and January is over here and August is, is here. There are a lot of people who have this or just variations on all of these things and everyone has their own kind of specific thing and I didn't discover that this was weird until I started asking people and they thought I was crazy. Number three, I am a compulsive notebook buyer. This is a recent addition that I quite like. Number four, I set myself a couple of goals for this year and one of them is to learn Morse code. Because you know when the zombie apocalypse starts happening it's good to know these things. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this interview. I I know I did. If you want to check out my videos, you can go to youtube.com slash books and quills and my username is also books and quills on Goodreads, Twitter, Tumblr, and Blogspot. See you guys around. Doei!